Some things are better left unsaid, but even more are best left unshared. For eons, the rise and fall of powerful individuals, kingdoms and empires have often hinged on a single revealed secret. Secrets wield power, serving as both shields and swords, guarding us or leading to our undoing. But what if there are some secrets that are so vital, so essential, that they should never be revealed to just anyone? The ancient Stoics knew the secrets well, and they practiced a discipline of silence and discretion that protected them from harm and preserved their dignity. In this video, we will discuss 10 subjects that we recommend you keep secret as a Stoic and never reveal to anyone. All of them are crucial and interconnected, so stay tuned until the end of the video to find out why. 1. The silent battles you're waging. Behind every face you encounter, there's a universe of stories, some sung aloud, but most kept hushed. These silent narratives, woven from challenges and personal struggles, often hold immense power. Why? Because they mold us, shape our perspectives and push us to our limits. But just as the toughest steel is forged in the hottest fire, so are we through these internal battles. Epictetus subtly reminds us, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Nestled within these words is the echo of countless moments when we've battled with our thoughts, weighed down by burdens the world knows nothing about. Now, does this mean we should bottle everything up? No, but it's about discerning who to confide in and when. You see, everyone may hear, but not all listen, and fewer still understand. Choosing to reveal these battles is a prerogative, and one should tread carefully, sharing only with those who have earned the privilege of your trust. Today, there's an ever-present urge to live life out in the open, especially with the omnipresence of social media platforms. It feels like everyone's sharing everything, but there's immense strength in selective sharing. Let some battles remain yours and yours alone. They're a testament to your resilience, a personal medal of honor. And while it's human nature to seek solace in others, remember that not every ear is tuned to the depth of your song. Sometimes the music of your struggles is best appreciated in the silent sanctuaries of your own heart. After all, as the Stoics believed, real transformation often thrives in quietude. 2. The Whispers of Self-Doubt Have you ever stood at the edge of a decision only to be pulled back by the hushed voices of uncertainty? These soft whispers, am I good enough? What if I fail? Are the clandestine residents of the mind nudging us away from our potential? While it's tempting to shout out these insecurities, hoping someone will refute them, a Stoic understands the gravity of keeping them sheltered at least until they're fully acknowledged and addressed. Why, you ask? For it's not external events that trouble you, but your own judgments about them. This insight, borrowed from the ancient corridors of Stoicism, suggests that confronting our internal dialogues, instead of amplifying them for the world, can be a transformative experience. The world, especially in its current form, often has a way of magnifying our insecurities. You share a self-doubt, and suddenly there's a torrent of advice, much of it conflicting, adding to the cacophony of confusion. Instead, consider taking a different approach. Engage with these whispers in the silent arena of introspection. Let your understanding be the balm, not the opinions of countless others. Challenge these voices, converse with them, maybe even reason with them. Nowadays, where every emotion can quickly become a public spectacle, there's unmatched power in cherishing solitude, especially when taming the unruly voices of self-doubt. They need your undivided attention, not the world's. Isn't it wiser to first mend the leaks in a boat privately, rather than inviting an audience to watch it sink? Three your future plans. Have you ever felt the weight of another's gaze on you? 
curious about your next move. There's something deeply empowering about holding on to your future plans with a quiet dignity rather than letting them become dinner table chatter. Your aspirations, dreams and ambitions are yours to cherish. By not revealing every detail, you maintain an element of mystery and unpredictability. We live in an age where everyone's so eager to share, yet there's strength in keeping your cards close, letting actions speak louder than words. History offers countless examples of individuals who prematurely boasted about their plans, only to watch them crumble. Take Napoleon Bonaparte. His military genius was unparalleled, but his overconfidence, broadcasted plans and underestimation of his opponents often became his Achilles' heel. The Battle of Waterloo serves as a poignant reminder that revealing too much can lead to one's downfall. Similarly, business moguls like Howard Hughes were notorious for keeping their ventures close to their chest, ensuring competitors were always one step behind. It's a lesson in the power of unpredictability and the strategic advantage of discretion. Today, we're connected more than ever, with social platforms tempting us to announce every intention. But Stoicism reminds us that there's value in stepping back, in taking a more measured approach. By keeping your future plans secret, you not only protect your ambitions, but also grant yourself the freedom to adapt and change without external pressure. As Seneca's wisdom seamlessly weaves through our thoughts, if a person doesn't know to which port they sail, no wind is favorable. It's a compelling reminder to set our course, but share it only when necessary, and mostly with oneself. Holding your future close doesn't mean you're afraid or unsure. On the contrary, it signifies a powerful understanding of the world's dynamics. You're not withholding for the sake of secrecy, you're preserving the sanctity of your journey, ensuring that when the world witnesses your steps, they're steadfast, deliberate, and always one move ahead. 4. The Temptation of Excessive Comfort It might seem counterintuitive, but there's an inherent wisdom in keeping our regular forays outside of comfort a secret. When you share every challenge, every venture outside your norm, the intent often shifts. Suddenly, you're seeking validation, applause for being so brave or bold. But the Stoic approach isn't about external validation. It's about internal growth. The next time you decide to wake up an hour earlier to read or choose to walk in the rain to feel alive, maybe keep it to yourself. It's not a show. It's a personal journey, Marcus whispered through time. Is it for the sake of appearances or genuine progress? Historical records talk of Alexander the Great and his unparalleled conquests. But even he, amidst the luxuries he could summon, would sleep on the ground and eat the same rations as his soldiers. He did this not for show, but to remind himself of the realities of life and not become lost in the haze of luxury and comfort. We might not be leading vast armies, but our battles are real, our challenges no less significant. In our rapidly changing world, where comfort is often a click away, remember that it's the wind, the rain, and the uphill paths that shape mountains. Similarly, our challenges, especially those we quietly embrace, shape us. It's okay to bask in comfort, but do take those secret strolls into the unfamiliar. It's there that we find the versions of ourselves we often forget exist. 5. Your vulnerabilities and weaknesses. It's said that every hero has an Achilles heel, a vulnerable point that despite their strength can be their undoing. Humans, in their beautifully imperfect nature, are comprised of strengths and vulnerabilities. These vulnerabilities, the raw, tender parts of our psyche, deserve protection, not exposure. It's not about hiding or denying them, but about treating them with the reverence they merit. Man is affected, not by events, but by the view he takes of them. 
murmured a voice, reminiscent of Epictetus, suggesting it's not our vulnerabilities that define us, but our perspective of them. Embracing vulnerabilities is important. They're markers of past wounds, lessons learned, and even the fear of future battles. They're also deeply personal. Broadcasting them can make us susceptible to external judgments, which can sometimes skew our own understanding or acceptance of them. By privately acknowledging these points, we fortify ourselves, ensuring they're not exploited or misunderstood. It gives us a chance to work on them, to transform them from weak spots into areas of growth. Throughout history, many figures were acutely aware of their vulnerabilities, but chose to keep them close, using them as motivators rather than deterrents. Abraham Lincoln, for instance, faced numerous failures and battled bouts of melancholy. Instead of publicizing these struggles, he internalized them, allowing them to shape his empathy and leadership. Conversely, Julius Caesar's vulnerability was his trust in close allies, culminating in his tragic end on the Ides of March. These historical episodes underscore the importance of recognizing our vulnerabilities, handling them with care and ensuring they don't become our undoing. Oversharing is the norm these days. The pressure to bear one's soul, to put everything out in the open, can be overwhelming. Yet there's power in selective silence. Recognize your vulnerabilities, cherish them, work on them, but don't feel obligated to lay them out for the world to dissect. It's okay to keep some pages of your book closed. After all, mysteries have their own allure and strength sometimes lies in the chapters left unread. Six, your personal grievances. They say carrying grudges is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to perish. It's a heavy weight on the shoulders, a constant murmur in the ear, and more often than not, a useless endeavor. However, choosing to process personal grievances internally, as a Stoic, promotes inner equilibrium and self-mastery. By choosing not to vent every irritation, you cultivate an inner resilience learning to tackle problems internally without scattering your energy outward. It's a touch reminiscent of Epictetus, who once mused, It's not things that upset us, but our judgment about things. Consider this. When you share every annoyance or frustration, you're not only perpetuating negativity, but also subtly seeking validation for your feelings. By holding back, by introspecting, you allow yourself the time to question, is this grievance valid? Can I control it? Should it affect my state of mind? Such introspection often leads to a realization that many of our grievances are transient, unworthy of our energy, and for those that are valid. Tackling them head on, rather than just discussing them, can be far more satisfying and productive. Peering back through the corridors of time, we uncover stories of those who let their personal grievances consume them, ultimately to their own detriment. Consider the tragic story of Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton. Their mutual animosity culminated in a deadly duel, a result of years of public and personal grievances. Both men paid dearly, Hamilton with his life and Burr with his reputation, and later his own melancholic reflection on his choices. Their story serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of letting personal grievances dictate one's actions. Today's fast-paced society often pushes us to vent as a form of therapy. But Stoicism advises the opposite. It's about addressing grievances internally, understanding their roots, and acting with wisdom rather than impulsiveness. The next time you feel that familiar sting of annoyance, pause, reflect. Ask yourself if voicing this grievance will change anything or if it merely serves to stir the pot. Because sometimes silence is the most powerful response and peace the ultimate victory. 7. Your personal achievements and successes 
There's a quiet satisfaction in achieving something, be it big or small, yet the rush of the modern world often compels us to broadcast these moments. The Stoic path, however, urges us to embrace and cherish our accomplishments internally rather than seeking external validation. Why? Because validation from within is sustainable, it's genuine. Broadcasting achievements can sometimes dilute their significance, turning profound personal milestones into mere conversation topics. This isn't to diminish the joy of sharing successes with loved ones. It's a call to be discerning, to realize that not every victory needs an audience. It's about knowing the difference between sharing joy and seeking validation. When we internalize and deeply appreciate our own growth and achievements, we become self-reliant, drawing strength from within. This self-reliance is a shield, protecting us from the unpredictable ebb and flow of external praise and criticism. History offers many tales of those who shouted their successes from the rooftops, only to face unforeseen consequences. Take the legend of Icarus. Though not a real historical figure, the tale is grounded in human nature that spans ages. Elated by the thrill of flight, he soared too close to the sun, defying his father's cautions. His waxen wings melted, and he plummeted into the sea. His hubris, his need to push boundaries for the sake of pride and recognition, became his undoing. Embracing success with humility doesn't downplay its significance, it reinforces it. The modern era, with its constant connectivity, poses unique challenges, but it also offers opportunities. The next time you achieve something, take a moment, feel it, cherish it. Then, decide thoughtfully whom to share it with. 8. The Quiet Desires of Your Heart Have you ever stumbled upon a tiny, seemingly insignificant thing that made your heart skip a beat? Perhaps it was a dream you'd tucked away, a simple desire to learn a new instrument, or perhaps dance under the rain. These small, personal yearnings often remain whispers, easily drowned in the cacophony of our daily lives. It's quite natural to want to share these fleeting moments, these tiny ambitions with others. A little voice tells us, share it, and it becomes real. But does it? More often than not, Voicing these dreams prematurely might lead to them getting trampled upon by the unasked opinions of others. Not everyone will understand why you want to learn to play the ukulele or why you've suddenly taken up gardening. And that's perfectly all right. As a silent Stoic philosopher once said, threading wisdom through the centuries, dreams whispered to the heart are for the soul, not the crowd. Looking back in history, the revered philosopher Socrates never penned down his thoughts. Most of what we know of him comes from his student, Plato. But there's something intriguing here. The absence of Socrates' direct writings lends an air of mystery around his true beliefs, his personal desires. What little desires did he harbor? We may never know, and that's the beauty of it. It's a powerful reminder that not everything needs to be laid bare. Some treasures are best kept close to the chest. Take a moment today, in a world where everything is on display, to savor the dreams you haven't yet shared. Let them grow in the silences of your heart. And when they're strong enough to face the world, to face both applause and criticism, then, maybe, let them out. Until then, guard them for they are your secret strength, your quiet song of hope. They're the magic waiting to happen on your terms, at your pace. 9. Your personal progress. When a caterpillar cocoons, there's a profound transformation occurring within, invisible to the external world. Just imagine if that caterpillar felt the need to broadcast each tiny advancement. It wouldn't just be distracting, it might even hinder its metamorphosis. Much like this natural wonder, there's an undeniable sanctity in keeping the details of personal growth to oneself. Every stride you take towards bettering yourself, 
Every newfound understanding or self-realization is a treasure. But here's the kicker. Not all treasures are meant for display. Some are meant to be felt, to resonate within the depths of your being. Now, this isn't to advocate for absolute silence. Sharing can be therapeutic, even motivational for others. However, the Stoics emphasized the significance of reflection over proclamation. Seneca, weaving his wisdom into words, once conveyed, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. Notice he didn't say, keep telling everyone how you live. We live in a time where documenting life has almost become second nature. The rush to tweet a thought, share a personal milestone on Instagram, or vlog about inner struggles, can sometimes overshadow the essence of the experience itself. Before you share, pause. Ask yourself, is this for validation or genuine connection? The difference matters. Drawing once more from the Stoics and perhaps reflecting upon Marcus Aurelius' meditations, there's a grounding realization. The universe is transformation. Life is opinion. Transformation is a deeply personal journey and opinions about it are many. As you navigate the vast waters of personal growth, sometimes it's more powerful to row silently than to announce every turn. Ultimately, the final destination, your evolved self, will speak louder than any update ever could. 10. The gentle ebb and flow of your emotion. Life's canvas is painted with the broad strokes of happiness, sorrow, love, anger, and countless other emotions. While it's common nowadays to publicly wear our emotions on our sleeves, especially in an era of real-time status updates and stories, there's a silent power in holding some feelings close. The act of restraint is not about suppression, rather it's about understanding that feelings are deeply personal experiences, often complex and multifaceted. Sharing them in real time might not always capture their true essence, and at times the external world isn't gentle with raw emotions, as a Stoic might subtly remind us, emotions, when softly held, unfold in their own rhythm, revealing layers we often miss in haste. Think about the renowned Stoic Marcus Aurelius, emperor of Rome and yet, his personal reflections, filled with profound emotion, were captured in his private notes, which we now know as meditations. These were not grand public proclamations, but intimate musings meant for himself. His hesitance to publicly display every moment of introspection gives us a mirror to our own lives. How often do we pause to truly sit with our feelings before projecting them outward? Today's world praises the quick to react. But remember, there's wisdom in allowing emotions to settle, to truly understand them before sharing. Not everything warrants an immediate post or story. Some feelings, when preserved and reflected upon, mature into deeper understandings or transform into something else entirely. So, next time emotions surge, perhaps give them space. Let them breathe. They are, after all, your personal journey through the vast landscape of life, and not every journey needs an audience. Some are best traveled solo only to be shared when the heart truly wishes. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Your support is the cornerstone that allows us to keep bringing enlightening content to every corner of the world. If there's a topic or an idea you'd like to see explored further, don't hesitate to drop it in the comments. It's what fuels our mission to deliver even more profound insights to you. And of course, if you found value in today's content, do give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Let's keep the flame of knowledge burning bright together. Before you go, check out this video on anti-stoic habits that might be lurking in your daily routine.